Hello everyone and welcome back. I have yet another exciting video for you guys and I guess you can guess what it's going to be and it is TikTok. And they're coming at you every day, every month, every year, every second, every minute, every hour, every time that you are alive. I've got a damn TikTok video coming for you because it is my passion right now. TikTok is taking over my life. I am in lockdown. So that's just how life's going to be for a little while. And I hope you guys are prepared for it. Let's get excited. Let's watch some TikToks together and let's find out some more hacks that you may or may not want to use on your piercings. I'll give you a little bit of insight into whether I think these tips and tricks and hacks are a good idea or a terrible one. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and that little belly boy for anyone who hasn't. And also hit the like while you're here and let's begin this exciting journey together. Yep, love. I was gonna say, like, that would be the most flush dermal piercing I've ever seen if that was one. I think it's a great idea. I used to have a dermal in my face and mine migrated, which sucks because I would love to have still had it, but sometimes I will just like stick gems on my face instead because I'm like, you know what? I get that it doesn't look as cool and it looks a bit tack, but I am not going through having another dermal migrate because I know it will. I know with the amount of piercings that I've had and the amount that have like rejected and migrated, it uh, it's not gonna work and the way mine did migrate was wild i wish i had photos to show you but it fully just like pushed out of my face i think this is a cute little idea you can put some eyelash glue and just stick like a gem i guess those were maybe nail gems because you can always buy them from like craft stores or dollar stores there's like a million that you can like just stick on your face and you don't have to deal with a dermal's healing the amount of time you have to wear a fucking like bandage over it and then the potential of it rejecting um not saying yours will some people can have them forever and they'll nothing it'll never move nothing will make it migrate but like you do see them migrate so if you'd rather not have that just stick some on your face trust me it's a lot less hassle and i know it doesn't look as cool but you know what isn't cool having a fucking scar on your face from a dermal it's shit rook piercings, um, as dainty rook piercings aka curved bars now like rook piercings aren't the only ones that have curved bars in them but like i get what she's trying to say is like the same jewelry you would wear in your rook to wear in your navel and this is totally definitely something you can do i'll wait and see what she has to say and then i'll like talk at the end sorry my belly button pierced for a long time and i've always hated that it was so big so i wanted a smaller piercing so i bought some Yeah. If you don't like big, huge belly button rings, go buy your own piercing. You're like, Jess, how do I know what size will fit me? You can even have the different sizes. Just Amazon search gold rim piercing and you got it. Yeah, totally. So you can definitely do this. It's like such a good idea. The only thing I have to say is that when she was like talking about what size, she didn't actually give a sizing of what to get, but I do recommend getting 14 gauge. The thing with your navel is that it is pierced with a thicker gauge. So if you were to just wear the same jewelry you would be wearing in your rook, so a 16 gauge curved bar, you would then put it in and the navel tunnel would then shrink because it is like sizing to the jewelry that you've put in it and then you would have trouble getting your larger jewelry back in so if you wanted to go back to wearing like normal navel bars that would then be an issue but it is totally possible to get these curved bars in a 14 gauge so just make sure you're getting 14 gauge generally around a 10 or an 8 millimeter for the length should be fine for you but it always is best to just go to your piercer and get get it sized if you don't no, or you don't know how to work out what size it is. 10 is the most common if you have like quite a decent amount of skin there. Like yours hasn't been migrating or anything like that. Whereas when it has migrated, that's when it's more towards like the eight millimeter size. I wouldn't recommend wearing a 16 gauge in there. So definitely just make sure you're getting a 14 gauge. But this is definitely a thing that happens. Lots of people change theirs 
two curved bars because it just sits nicer it's way more dainty and the thing with 14 gauge is you can also get any size balls so just make sure you're keeping that same thickness of the bar and you're good to go okay i know i'm not the only girl whose belly button piercing has a little bit of smell to it so don't judge me it's just a nice little hack a I feel like I may have reacted to this one before. I can't remember though, but because I'm focusing on hacks, this might be something that you guys might want to see though. But this is totally a thing. You could buy a syringe from a pharmacy and you can literally just fill it up with sterile saline solution and do that. Bob's your bloody uncle. It'll give you a little flush out. I would recommend doing it a few times though because one flush might not really do that much. So yeah, this will definitely work. You can play with this kaleidoscope I got you at the airport. What? A kaleidoscope? I'm not five. Shapes and colors. I love that little hack, exactly like the navel using the rook or the curved bars. This is the exact same thing because your industrial is a 14 gauge and so are nipples. You can swap out that jewelry. It really doesn't matter like what you're putting it in. As long as it's the right length, you're fine because it is the right gauge. So you're not going to be closing that hole anymore or like struggling to get other jewelry in if it has closed or anything like that because you're using the right gauge. So really anything that's nipple jewelry can go in places like your industrial, like your tongue. Obviously you don't want to be wearing these in your tongue because they're a weird shape and it's not a ball but anything that is going to be a ball can also be worn in your tongue as well okay so i used to have an upper navel piercing and i had to get a lower navel piercing and there's not like a lot of cute dangly jewelry for your lower so i took one of the charms from my upper ones and put some string around it and you can just attach it like that and then you can just take it off i'm, I'm so happy that worked i love her like vibe her look is very cute um yeah i mean sure you could do that i feel like it would fall off you can definitely get jewelry out there that's different to like your standard navel bars and similar to like the rook hack we saw before with the curved bar you can definitely get jewelry that has like dangly stuff from that so many different pieces of jewelry that will like dangle from it so i would rather you go and do that but sure for a picture or for like wearing for a very short amount of time how much damage are you really gonna do i'd I don't think you will. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back really soon. Bye.